part of parenting or single parenting that nobody talks about is being offered jobs and you can't even accept the jobs because you don't know how you're going to get your kids to and from daycare or who going to watch them on the weekends if you need to work or anything in that nature. I absolutely love my kids to death. But if I could talk to the younger me, I would tell me to wait. I would tell me to wait to have kids until I know that I either am financially stable or I'm having a team behind me that can help me because everybody needs a community. And when you are alone doing this, it, it's the worst. So let me get this straight. So if you could talk to the younger you, you would tell the younger you to wait till you get more financially stable and to wait for you to have more of a community. Not wait till I get married, not wait till I find the person that I'm supposed to be with so that I could dedicate my life to and we can create this family dynamic to where I can operate and I can do what I'm supposed to do as far as living in my femininity and maybe not even having a going struggle for resources, but I can be an addition to or help me to a husband. Not making sure that I could put myself in a position to be a better, better mother by including the father inside of the household or none of that, right? Not none of that. It's just, I would rather just make sure I'm more financially stable and I have a better community around me. So maybe your friends, family, grandmother, grandfather, I don't, I don't know. I don't, all I'm doing is reacting to it. And you know, I got to spin a block and I always like to give credit to the content creator. So that link is going to be down in the description in order for y'all to go over there and support the platform of the content creators, regardless of whether I agree with them or not. Make sure y'all tap into that T. Chanley, 40% off your first order plus 20% off of life. And then make sure you tap into the Patreon link is in the description uh, because we always like to add value into y'all. And I just did Sock Club and I'm looking forward to dropping this new video uh, that we finishing up recording probably tomorrow morning after I get done with the live stream. But let me spend a block and get the full context, and then I'm going to get my thoughts afterwards. And I encourage you guys to participate in the comments. Part of parenting or single parenting that nobody talks about is being offered jobs. And you can't even accept the jobs because you don't know how you're going to get your kids to and from daycare or who going to watch them on the weekends if you need to work or anything in that nature. Why do people feel compelled? Like, is the internet supposed to be the community to support community that y'all looking for? Uh, either they're supporting you organically, or is that the people that you turn to for help, or what's going on? I don't, I don't understand like why people, when they're going through something, whenever I'm having an issue or problem, or if there's anything that I disagree with, or you know, if I'm feeling upset about something, the first thing I do is shut the computer off and put the phone down. I don't go on Twitter. I don't open up TikTok. I don't open up Instagram. I'm not feeling inspired to throw people under the bus or nothing like that. Uh, I've learned over the years, and maybe it's just my maturity into being a content creator and because I've been doing it for so long, to put the device down. Let this be a lesson, a separate lesson for those of y'all that don't get it. Don't worry. I'm appreciative of the people that continue to create this type of content that y'all send me to react to, but put the device down. If you feel in some type of way, you're going to crash out and then you're going to regret it. And then y'all be leaving the videos up and stuff like that. After you've seen it, that means that you recorded it, watched it, uploaded it, seen the reactions to it, and then you still feel comfortable with what you said. Let's continue. I absolutely love my kids to death. But if I could talk to the younger me, I would tell me to wait. I would tell me to wait to have kids until I know that I either am financially stable or I'm having a team behind me that can help me because everybody needs a community. And when you are alone doing this, it, it's the worst. It's the worst feeling in the world. I absolutely love my kids to death. I'll do anything for them. But when you are trying to give them the best and you have multiple baby daddies that won't even be like, <laughs> time dog strikes again time dog strikes again i keep telling y'all if y'all not looking at this ladies as an example 
of how you're supposed to be moving and that you don't want to open up your legs to multiple different men that is not married to you and cannot add no value into your life and that you're not looking to spend the rest of your life with. And then also on top of that, be able to raise your children in a two-parent household. Y'all got multiple baby daddies. So much for all of the congratulations. I'm pregnant. Got pregnant by multiple different men, at least two. I don't even know how many. Let me let me just continue to watch. Like, hey, what's your work schedule? Let me help you because I know you didn't help me because I can go to work whenever I feel like it and I can make as much money as I feel like it and I can do the bare minimum for my child. It, it's sickening. It's sickening. And I'm not... Because if you got two baby daddies, then that means that even if I take a little bit of pressure off of you by... Because if you can't handle it, that means that you're not fit to be the main parent. You may need to get a kid up to the person that is better suited to be able to provide for that child and also be there for them so that they don't grow up to be a latchkey kid or they don't grow up to be a kid that was raised in an environment that's not conducive for them. Because even if he take that pressure off of you on the one child that's not his other child and so you can't expect for him to be a step crash dummy in some capacity right so you still got the, the burden of having to figure out what the other kid is doing right how many kids does she, I, I don't know i'm just i'm learning as i go and i'm giving y'all the context as we go dealing with one not two but three men oh shit <laughs> oh my god yo And we don't even know how many children it is. It could be multiple children by the same baby daddy. At least three kids by three different men. Do y'all be hearing what y'all be saying, ladies, before y'all jump on these platforms? Yo, this is wild. This is absolutely insane what we talking about right now. Three baby daddies? Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. I can do the bare minimum for my child. It, it's sick, man. It's sickening. And I'm not dealing with one, not two, but three men that fail to realize that they mama needs to work too. And it hurts me to the core because I try to do as much as I can or work around these men's schedules far as pick up and drop off. And I always get the shit end of every stick. I try not to be the baby mama that's calling, complaining, or even asking for too much of nothing. So when we got to inspire community, community, wake up, wake up, wake up. We got to aspire to be more than baby mamas and getting with baby daddies. We got to aspire for more. Why are we reducing ourselves to being a baby mama and a baby daddy? Don't y'all see what is happening in the community? Jesus Christ. I can't even take a job that know that they know that will better their kids' life because their kids are primarily with me. It hurts me. It hurts me because I don't ask. I don't ask. I don't bother. I don't tell if the kids need diapers or if they needed shoes or if they needed socks or anything. I'm not that type of mother. Even if I didn't have food, I would go to a food pantry before I called them and asked them, hey, can you help me with food? Because you know food stamps don't always feed the key. And y'all on food stamps? Try got that cell phone to record on TikTok. It hurts me to the core. It hurts me. But I'm finna start standing on business. I'ma have to and I don't give a fuck. Cause this shit is it's ridiculous. It's becoming ridiculous. I can't. I can't, bro. I can't. Y'all not gonna sit here and tell me that this is what's conducive for the community. Because these are the type of people that's voting. These are the type of people that's raising y'all children. These are the people that's determining y'all laws. These are the type of people that's that's banding together in the community. They got the loudest voices. The longer, It's crazy out here in these streets. I'm curious as to what y'all think. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Again, the link is in the description. Let me know what y'all think inside of the comments. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all later, man.